and I think that we have to really remember that, you know, when it comes to art and things like sport, um, it's not about how you look, it's about what you could do. You see these basketball players, it's not about how cut their thighs are, or how cut their arms are, it's about how they play, you know. Are they are they good? Are they could they dribble good? Could they could they um, jump high and dunk well? Could they could they play good defense? Could they score? That's what it's about. It's about performance. Same thing with football. It's about the performance. It's not these football players aren't you know all training or like playing in their underwear, showing off their muscles. Who cares how their muscles could what, look? What matters is can the quarterback throw the football well? Can he can he score touchdowns you know can can the running back run fast you know it's about the performance and i think that we have to always remember that rather than be so concentrated on the physique and how it looks and things of that nature um it becomes it could become lead you towards a very unhealthy way of training and you know as 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 you i grew as i grow and become more mature i begin to realize like how um, you know, as an artist, you know, as a performer or as an entertainer, it's important of how you express your talents so then you will not guide people towards an unhealthy way, okay? So, cage fighting, obviously, is a very unhealthy way of expressing martial art talent. Um, but Bruce Lee, you know, did it in a healthy way, healthier way of, you know, expressing his talents in film, and then he motivated a lot of people to go into film, to act as well. But the one thing that I saw as an unhealthy way is um, too much, you know, too much of an emphasis on his physique and the, the cuts that he had um, could very easily lead people towards a very unhealthy way of training in order to want to be just as cut as him. And in order to get that cut is very, is very unhealthy, extremely unhealthy. Whereas um, just wearing a uniform such as the uniform he wore in the game of death, just, just that yellow uniform that's covering up his body. Then it just doesn't really get people to focus so much on how cut his muscles are, because he's covered up. So it gets them to see, hey, that's a cool uniform. Maybe I'll go buy one of those uniforms myself. Um, that really doesn't have anything to do with um, changing up the way they train to be very unhealthy, as far as aiming to become very skinny and, and um, highly defined. So one thing I think is very important is that you know, as artists, we should concentrate on our craft not on just how you look okay i think that would be a much more healthy way of expression so for example a painter doesn't matter how cut and you know how much a nice nice physique a painter has if the painter paints well then he paints well picasso paints well then he paints well if a singer sings well then she sings well it doesn't matter how cut you know or how big her butt is or her breasts or whatever it's 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 about her talent, her skill. If she could dance, then she could dance. If she could act, then she could act. That's the craft, the art of it. Um, I think a lot of times, you know, when we focus so much on the physical, you know, it becomes a very unhealthy way to view things. And that's why, you know, women, you may want to get breast implants. You know, men may may take steroids because they're so focused on the physical, and the physical is not the craft the craft is what you're good at if you're playing good at playing golf then, then it doesn't matter how cut your muscles are you think tiger woods it matters that his six pack he has six pack abs is nothing to do with that it's about how well he can golf you know that's his craft and uh, uh, you know as a kung fu artist we should aim to perfect our craft i see that we are not meant to live our lives to accumulate money we are meant to live our lives to perfect our craft, to develop our kung fu um, in whatever that we enjoy doing. Um, but because money is in existence, uh, what our aim should be is to just simply practice what we love and through that find a way to make money. So in a way, like for example, my wife loves to cook. So, by practicing, you know, her craft, she has been able to create a restaurant in order to eventually make money. For myself, I love to teach. 
Um, and one of the things that I like to teach is fitness and martial arts. So I will find a way to make money practicing my craft. Um, somebody else that likes to teach may find a way to make money from that in personal training. Or they may try to make money from that in being a professor or being a school teacher or being a child care sitter of where they teach the children. Um, there's many different ways of where you can make money from doing what you normally would do for free. As far as disassociating myself with the martial arts, I'm not going to do that at this moment. I feel that I could benefit a lot by still using that label as a martial artist in order to connect with people like you and others who really, uh, the reason why I learned about Eastern philosophy is because of martial arts, is because of Bruce Lee and Bruce Lee associating himself to be a martial artist and then it led me towards this way and I think that this is something that I'm naturally, I'm natural at is is the martial arts so continuing to label myself as a martial artist um, will you know um, hopefully show others um, what Bruce Lee was able to show to me which is more the deeper spiritual aspect of the martial arts but I also see that we should not just limit ourselves in just being one thing so for example Mar Bruce Lee you know, he was a martial artist, but at the same time, he was an actor. At the same time, he was a father. At the same time, he was a philosopher. He was a teacher. He was a sage. He's not just one thing. Um, I think that when we put ourselves into one category, we place a lot of limitations on ourselves. So I see that we should see ourselves as more of um, broad. Um, whereas I would not just be a martial artist. You know, I'd be a sage. I'm a father. You know, you know, I could be considered a poet because I like poetry. I could be considered an author because I wrote, you know, some books, but I like to write. Um, I could be considered a writer. I could be considered a, a philosopher. You know, a teacher. So, um, when I open a business, I could be considered a business owner. You know, when I, ha you know help cook I could be considered a cook you know basically I think that these labels imply many limitations on us I think we should transcend ourselves from these labels and see ourselves to just basically be expressive human beings we could see ourselves as just simply artists we're just artists so I'm not a martial artist I'm just an artist but martial arts is something that I do practice so um, I could be considered a martial artist um, in a sense of where if I achieve a certain level of proficiency, I could, I could gain that label, you know, um, just like sometimes people may be working hard towards, a, very hard towards gaining a certain label to be called a doctor, but then imagine the doctor, you know, that attained that label and got, the, you know, the med school, got through med school, got the label as a doctor, and then studied to become a lawyer as well, then he could be considered a doctor and a lawyer. And then say he's, he's, he kept studying and then he, he got enough, you know, cert certifications to become a, a professor, then he could be considered a doctor, lawyer, and professor. So I see that um, we could obtain many different labels if we work hard towards um, our goals. We could be considered many different things. Um, it just requires a lot of Kung Fu, a lot of development. So for example, somebody like Michael Jackson was not just a singer, but he was a good dancer. He was a good entertainer. You know, and then if he goes in a movie, then he's an act. Then he becomes a good actor. He could be an actor, an entertainer, a singer, a dancer. Um, have multiple talents. That's what I. Well, that's what I encourage. People develop th themselves in multiple fields, um, in development, so they could be great in many different things. So by you sending me these messages, it definitely is motivating me to create. And as you see, you know, it's I've created, oh, you know, three videos based on your motivation. So really, you are contributing a lot as well. You know, simply by sending me um, this message that has um, inspired a lot of deep thoughts, um, ideas, and wisdom from within myself. 
So I like the quote that you provided. You said, human life is truly a short affair. It is better to live doing the things you like to do. It is foolish to live within this dream of a world seeing unpleasantness and doing only things that you do not like. But it is important never to tell this to young people as it is something that would be harmful if incorrectly understood. So that's a very good quote. I like that. But the thing about it is you got to define young people. It's not based on age. Some people can be young but very wise. Some people can be old but very ignorant. So you can have a 40-year-old that's extremely ignorant. And they will not understand this quote. Um, so what I'm saying is that the quote makes sense in, this, in the sense of where... Um, a sage should be able to do everything that he likes to do because he will not contribute harm to the society he will contribute goodness to the society he will um, create more positivity to this world but if you tell a foolish person to do whatever he wants to do that makes him feel good then it's not good so meaning, you tell a foolish person, do whatever you want to do, and the foolish person wants to go and slaughter and shoot and kill hundreds of people for fun, then that's not good. Alright, um, or if you tell somebody, do whatever you want to do, and then they just take as many drugs as they can and overdose on drugs and kill themselves, that's not good either. So a sage will be able to do everything he wants to do, because what he wants to do will guide he will be guiding himself towards a healthier way. He may, you know, what he may want to do, he may want to eat healthy, so he eats healthy. He may want to exercise, so he exercises. He will do what he wants to do um, because um, his way will lead him towards a healthier way of living. So that is a good quote. Thank you for the email. It's very much appreciated. Um, it's generated a lot of thoughts from within and uh, you know hopefully it will help other people as well you know these videos and your positivity your positive energy you know I feed off of it and it benefits me and then by creating the videos um, it can benefit other people so you are doing a great thing um, for me and the society and for yourself thank you